Namo! I'm fine, ma. Welcome. Uh, yeah, well, how are you? My name, I'm fine. I'm not Mama, fine. what were you doing inside? I've got you so engrossed. You didn't even hear me driving. Hmm. Now, what else would I be thinking of? My farm. I don't know why you refused to ring the sea. Mila, you could raise. Mama, for this farm, yeah. it's high time you stopped it because it's stressing you so much. And all those more I don't like it. So, what will I feed on now? Kenge, Elizi? Yeah. I will take care of you and take care of Undi also. <laughs> nah, I will never ever stop thanking God for giving me a man like you. It's, you. Huh? it's fine. Let's, let's go inside there. Eh? I want you to gist me about everything, fact, how life has been treating you. Mama, the mm -hmm. most important thing is that we have a girl. We have a girl. I got 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 a girl. Eh? No. Eh? I don't care. No. Mama. This is so good. <laughs> It has been long I have such meal. Mm. Prepared by a real woman <laughs> with raw ingredients. <laughs> what do you uh, Why don't you just tell me that you like the food? <laughs> and you're enjoying it. Mama? Eh? It's a like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no wonder you have refused to age. Eh? All because of this this good food you eat in the village. Okay. Oh, I'm telling you. Don't worry, Nam. Eh? Once you finish this one, I'll get you that one. Oh, they can you bring more. You bring more. Yeah, we, <laughs> bring more. Yeah, we all can go. <laughs> mm -hmm, that reminds me. Yeah. How are my uncles? I hope they are treating you well. Everybody is fine. We are fine. Mm -hmm. Very, Very good. Did you want to forget not pick up? Mm. Oh? I will. Mm -hmm. I will come. I will come. I will come. I my elders, I greet you once again. Thank you. When the bamboo tree falls, the goats start climbing on it. For our kindred, the cedar tree has fallen and it is left for us to secure it and make sure the goat does not see it as a playground. That is why I have called this meeting so that we can open our eyes and choose a spokesperson that will represent this great kingdom. Remember, it has fallen on our family to do so. You have spoken well, it changed. The ah, but um, who do we give this prestigious position? Uh, my brothers, we all know that Ken is back, mm -hmm. and uh, from my own observation, I think he's the suitable person for this position because he's educated and he's also experienced in the ways of life. So, I suggest we we'll give him this position. You are right, Ichi. But remember, he's not married. Ichi, does he need to be married to be our spook person? Not really. He does not have to be married. But being married will give us more prestige. Absolutely. And him too. Okay. Mama? You've come of age. I don't know why you don't want to get married. Why are you going about looking for a woman whose character is 100 percent perfect? It's not done. If you manage to see a woman whose character is good, I mean 60 to 70 percent, the rest 30 to 40 you can tolerate. Mama, hmm? you forget to understand that marriage is a thing of forever. I will not kill myself trying to impress any girl. And I don't want to jump into it and jump out later. So I don't need to rush. Please, 
Allow me while I take my time searching, okay? So, my bro, at least you're still in the village, okay? Among all the beautiful girls we have in this village, be able to pick one. Hurry. Okay. In a mom. It's okay, mama. Let us leave this conversation for now. I will, I will actually, I will definitely think about it. Yeah? So, what bro? I'm not going to go. Okay, yeah. Maybe I'm going to go. Um, my elders, I think what we should do is to inform him. You're right. Uh, if that is the case, since I'm very close to him, I'll go and let him know. Uh, this is a very serious matter. I think if you inform him alone, he might not take it serious. I suggest we invite him. If all of us talk to him as family elders, mm -hmm. he will know that it's something serious mm -hmm. and it's not something to joke with. You're right. Inviting him is a much better idea. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Are you one of the girls that my mother said comes to help her? Yes. Oh, that's very good. Mm -hmm. What is your name? My name is Lucy. Lucy Okafor. Lucy, thank you so much for what you've been doing for my mother, okay? You're welcome, sir. I'm going out now. I hope to see you when I come back. Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. This guy is very handsome. Chai. Good morning. My elders, I greet you. I hope everything is fine. This one I'm invited. All is well, my son. Without wasting much time, let us discuss the reason we invited him. Uh, Ken, my son, our people say, if the cobweb unites, that they can tie down the lion. That's why we want us to unite as a family to solve the issue on ground. It is the turn of this family to produce the spokesperson for this great kingdom. And we want you to represent us. That's why we invited you. <laughs> ah, my elders, this is interesting. I will be very delighted to occupy the office. But the question is, am I the rightful person to take the post? My son, you have more than what it takes to represent us at that position. Um, but please, my elders, this office, do I merit it? Uh, yes, Ken. We have looked around. You are equipped academically. And you have a vast experience in the ways of a modern life. That is why we suggested you represent us. But before then, there is something you must do. So, have you met my son yet? Yes. He just drove out now. He said he's coming back soon. Okay. Uh, please sit and make yourself comfortable, okay? All right. Then. Good. Fine. So, tell me, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> and you? I'm fine. Okay. Uncle, what is it that I must do? You must be a responsible man. Am I not a responsible man? Can <laughs> you a responsible man? Traditionally, a married man is a responsible man. Ken, what we are saying is that you must get married. My elders, if it is on merit, you are not supposed to attach marriage to it. Uh, Ken, it is our tradition 
that before you get to that office, you must be married first. So my son, think about it. My elders, there is nothing to think about. Because anything on merit does not come with any attachment of condition whatsoever. Oh. Ken, I believe your late father, our brother, used to tell you about this office. And getting married is one of the ways to assess it. We cannot allow it go to another family. Kenneth is not yet back. Mm -hmm. I don't see him. But my son is not helping to do. I guess. Let's go inside and cook. Oh? Eh, cook. Mm -hmm. okay. My elders, there is no point forcing me to go against my will. I have not seen a woman I want to marry. And I cannot use because you people want me to represent you and go beyond my will and start displeasing myself. And for your information, I am a responsible man. Ken, you need to understand that failure to do this, that office will never come back to you. Mm -hmm. And our family will lose this chance. That is true. And you also have to think about the benefit attached to that office. Uh, my elders, Eche, I suggest we give him more time to think about it. <laughs> my elders, thank you very much for your concern. I really appreciate it. I beg to take my leave. Yo, no, no. If you be a girl for your area, I'm perfect in my doings. Make I tell you, oh. make I tell you, oh. Mama, why is his face looking like that? Ah, mom. I don't know. But when he was leaving this morning, he was very happy. And now that he's back, he was supposed to be happy as well. But instead, he's not friendly like the way he used to. I hope I'm not the reason. But no, don't see it like that. I will try and talk with him. No. Oh, and meanwhile, me again, Joey, eat your food. Oh? But you know, we've been waiting for him to come so that we eat know, together. No? I know, but mm -hmm. he was supposed to. It's okay, I'll talk to him. Oh, oh Chukwa Abia. Hmm. You need to see this guy. I see you. If you go to work, if you work, you quit no work. That guy na every woman's dream. Yeah. I'm telling you. But, um, of course. Is something else. Something like what? What happened? Isn't no handsome enough? Mandy, mm -hmm. you are handsome. Mm -hmm. Can't you think of something else? A man must not only be handsome. Hello. He needs the fear of God and a woman to make a good husband. Why you? Mm -hmm. go. That is your own. But as for me, Mandy, once the man is handsome, I'm okay. I will not want to marry an ugly man. So long as my children to have sex in church or in school drama, <laughs> that's not <laughs> good. <laughs> it's not only okay using your children to ask a sex in church. Yeah, we'll use them. Listen, Ken. If you see an old man going to shoot a bed and it's raining, that bed must be an ego. Even the lion, the king of the forest, with all his strength, he still protects himself from the flies. Mm -hmm. And if a cockroach wants to rule over the chicken, he must hire a fox as a bodyguard. What I'm trying to say, we can never overemphasize the importance of marriage. That's why we are here. Uncle, I know. But what I don't know is why you trouble yourself coming here. You should have just sent for me. Ken, this position, when it gets to the turn of some families, they fight and kill themselves 
just to have it. Here we are, offering it to you on a platter of gold, free. And yet, the simple thing we ask you to do that is required of you to get this position, you have refused to do it. Ken, why? Uncle Lothin, mm. if it's about the issue of I being a responsible man by getting married, before I can become the representative of this clan, mm. I would said no. My answer still remains no. Mm. You people said I merited it. Why this condition? Marriage does not make any man responsible. Being responsible is by choice. Yeah. Okay, no, when you were home. Are you indirectly trying to tell us that you don't want to get married? You don't want to continue your lineage? <laughs> is that what you're saying? Mama, I never said I won't get married. What are you saying? Mama, I will get married, but not now. When? Yeah. When? That's the when? issue. When? Mama, I've not seen the right person now. Okay, now I've not seen the right person. Is it person. when I'm dead and buried? Uh, why? Uh, you uh, are not getting any younger, give me. Uh, 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 Ken, there is no right woman. Uh, we make our women right by loving them. Uh, uh, Pick one. Uh, not only the honor that it brings as a married man. Uh -huh. There's a lot of benefit uh -huh. tied to it. Consider it. Wabia, Wabia, Wabia. Wabia, Uncle, tell him. I still stand my ground. If you people want me to take over that office, forget anything about marriage when I'm ready to marry. Yo, no, no. If you be a girl for your area, I'm perfect in my doings. Make I tell you, oh. make I tell you. Oh. Smart guy. You really take I see by that thing. Yeah. See what you see. Oh boy, you are talking as if you're boy. Hello, beautiful angel. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is your name? My name is Jennifer Godwin, but my friends call me Jane. Wow. A beautiful name for a beautiful angel. Where are you going to at this very hot sun? Nowhere in particular. I'm just strolling around the road. Okay. Would you mind to join us? You know, um, a cold drink is very nice for this very hot sun. No, I don't think so. Hey, you're too beautiful to be under this hot sun. I'm looking at your color. You're beautiful, you're white. I need you to come into this car. Let's just go out. Thank you so much. I would like to leave now. No, please. Even in my dream, I saw this beautiful angel. This superb, this elegant, this everything, even this AC we are enjoying, you are more beautiful than this AC. If all these ways cannot melt you down, you are not a human being. It's all right, let's go, it's fine. Good, thank you. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed my day. Thank you so much. Wow. I am very glad that you enjoyed yourself, okay? Maybe we can do this again some other time. That would be great. But as for now, I must go. My father is supposed to be back. It's alright. Just take good, very good care of yourself. Sure, you, okay? I will. It's fine. See how happy you are now. I can still remember you trying to turn us down. Thank Easy. You. Thank you, sir. I'm ready to go. Oh, no problem. Just take care of yourself. Hi, baby. Come. Not even a hug. Okay. Wow. Thank you. 
Like a lost butcher. Bia, Udela Heke, what were you doing with my man? Your man? I don't understand. Do you have a man? Hey! <laughs> if you like, pretend or act as if you don't know what I'm talking about. But take this simple warning from me stay away from Ken. Ken belongs to me. Whatever you have in this or door score about Ken should stop. Because doing? next time, you will not like what I will do to you. You will not like it. Lucy or whatever they call you, the worst mistake you will ever do in this your miserable life is to threaten me. Ezio, you should know me by now. I don't take threat and I won't take it from you. Anyways, I am not here to banter words with you. But I am telling you for the last time, stay away from Kane. Oh, yeah. Else, you will not find me healthy to be around it. Mm. <laughs> Jane, what is it? What is the issue? Man, the look at me. I met Ken and Stan today, and they asked me to join them for a dream, and I accepted. I don't know how Lucy got to find out about it, and she started threatening me. Because of Ken, Lucy of yesterday started threatening me. Ha! Mm. This is serious. What is wrong with that girl? I don't know, and I don't care. She's your friend. Oh, wait, you want to buy one in a chop one? I'll talk for more. Be quick, but she don't go and fight because of your mind. That's not what it's okay. I don't want to know. What her? She's your friend. One now for me, oh. I don't want to. In fact, I'm ready to go. I cannot sit down here. Biko. This girl. I never knew she's such a slut. She can't hide that in under her skirt. Ha! <laughs> With all due respect, my elders, I don't know what else to say again in this case. I have never seen where merit comes with conditions. If that is how it is, that means the office is political. I did not actually merit it. Ken, this is the tradition of our land. Exactly. Anybody among the king's cabinet must be a married man. Mm -hmm. We do this to know how you rule your family. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And this will now let us know if you can be able to run the affairs of the public. Exactly. How I wish my son would see Jane as that right woman and treat her well. This attitude of treating everybody equal is just keeping him from getting married. But man, don't with what I'm doing now. I think this one will be enough. Mm, yes, yes. Okay, yes. let me go and start cooking. Thank you, mom. I'll join you later. Okay, mom. Okay. Fine. Yes, fine. So, I am not married. Let us give it to another family. At least, let's give it to someone that is married. Ah! Let's give it to another family. God forbid. Uh -huh. Let someone that is married Take over the office. Ah, God forbid. Eh, uh, Ken. Bubatu, Bubatu, clear. Clear your mouth. Don't ever say such a thing with your mouth. All right, since you can't find a wife for yourself, we'll find one for you. And that's fine now. Exactly. <laughs> Doing. I'm fine, 
how about you? I'm fine. No, where are you going to? I'm going to one of our family friend. And where are you coming from? That you're smelling of smokes. And the charcoal on your forehead. Ah, no way. Oh. I went to see my grandmother. I went to cook for her. Oh. Yes, yes. I went to cook for my grandmother. I see. Yes. Anyway, let me go. I so I can come back on time. Hmm? Okay, no problem take now. Take care. But take care of yourself. I'll mm. see you later. Bye bye. 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 Afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine. Is Mama in? Oh no, she has gone to church. I believe you're one of the girls that help out with them. Um, how's yours? I do what I can to help my mom. You know she's just like a mother to me. Oh, that's nice. See, I really appreciate all you're doing, okay? You have to excuse me. I am just coming back from a meeting, so I need to rest. I was hoping we can. I'm oh, sorry, I... I just need to rest, okay? Why is it this difficult? So hungry. Trust me, I can eat a mountain of food right now. You will. <laughs> You're telling your wife or who? Uh, eh? Mom, I'm telling you as my everything now. It will. Yeah, baby, I can. But I will be no. I have told you to go and look for your wife to marry. I, I, I'm not me if you can check. You come back from wherever and, and you want to eat food, and I'm supposed to cook for you as as a I need to see my grandchildren. Or too much. Mom, I pray I see a woman that cooks like you. Mm, buddy. Anytime you start sounding like this, you're about to go. Let me get you your food. Sandra, I know try. You're about to be gone. Uh, my brothers. Mm -hmm. Somebody that cannot dance, he will say that the drama is bad. Mm -hmm. It is obvious that Ken does not know how to talk to the maidens. <laughs> so, I suggest we look for one for him. But, uh, how are we going to find a woman for him now? I have an idea. I will send for the mother. Exactly. 
Ah, good one, good one. Hey, because she and her fellow women, she knows the fellow women's daughter, exactly. and the one that will not bring shame to the family. <laughs> This food is wow. <laughs> My goodness. Jane was the one who prepared it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And I see how thank her. Ken, I don't want you to only thank her. Biko, ask her to marry you. Make her your wife. She's a good woman. Mama, eh? I am not going to do that. I don't even know this girl so well to warrant me to tell her to be my wife. Mm -mm. No. Okay, see ya, man. Mm -hmm. Baby, eating her food. Ken, you need a good wife. I need some grandchildren. And you were supposed to be the spokesperson of this community. Are you not? Mama, I did not say I will not give you grandchildren. I am not just ready for any woman right now. And when I'm ready, I know I will see the perfect person. Hmm? Oh, can you more blow for you with the wife? No, not you. You go first. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. See, I, I, I don't understand the kind of person that guy Ken is. You know, you know this guy now, Bankata. The only thing he will tell you is thank you. Yeah. Mm. That guy is very, very handsome. It's just that his attitude is nothing to write home about. I don't think that is how he treats other people, or is it just us he treats that way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you say us? Getting mm -hmm. cable us. Am I talking of the whole world? Don't tell me you want to date that guy. Eh? Do you have any intention of dating that guy? Anyway, this conversation is over. Thank you. Let me be going. Mm? Oh, Thank you. Get out. Okay. Us. Getting cable us. I'm talking of my own kin in us. There is no us, it's only me. Ken is just my alone. Nobody will take Ken away from me. Uh-uh. My Ken will go. Hey, be a comrade. Let me help you. Come on, come Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, uh, actually, we are just coming from your house now, Baba. But your mother says you aren't around, sir. Mm, thank God you met you here, yeah, that deal. Hey, it's the old uh, yes, what, what, what happened? I hope there is no problem. No, no problem, sir. No problem, sir. Uh, we are called to ask for help. We, we need some money to buy food in the house. Our parents are no more. Yes, sir. Baba, I beg, I need, I need your small help. I beg, I won't start a cracker business, but I don't get any money to start. I beg, help you small business, I beg, I start. I beg, Baba. Both of you should turn around and jump. Are you, are you sick? Like health-wise, are you very strong? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then what stop both of you from working and save up to start up whatever business you want to do? The agricultural business I'm doing today, nobody gave me a dime. I served my masters and saved money to do my own business. I'm sorry, there is nothing I can do for you. You people should just excuse me. Hi. Okay, it's too harsh on these children. It's our future, they're looking up to you. At least small, small help where you go give them, you go boost their morale, you go make them work. You get the whole spirit now. You understand you, what you, I You talk? that is talking, don't you know how I started? I know now. Did anybody help me? Just they talk anyhow. If they need my help, they should merit it. 
Si can. No be because say nobody help you. Don't mean say make you no help person. Can you enter this car? Let's go. Uh-uh. Enter this car, let's go. Any, merit, any, merit, anybody merit. that needs my help eh? will merit it. People should go and hustle. Make money. Merit my money. Name na what you reality. No, you should merit my money before you get money. No, no, no. If you be a car for your area, I'm perfect in my doings. Make I tell you. You know, I'm not a type of no. Oh. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Can I do? What the Welcome. Mama, did you eat that food? Yes, I did. I never knew you were such a good cook. It's nothing. Thank you so much for the food, okay? But I know that it's not your thing. No, not really. Mama said I should follow her to the farm. Mama, are you ready? Yes. Mama? Mm -hmm. You never told me she should go with us. What is wrong with her going with us? that think itself a river will always carry the shame of a pond. When the cock think that its wing is too strong to challenge the eagle in a flight, that cock will be torn apart in the airspace. Jennifer, you have drawn the battle line and you leave me with no choice but to use violence. I will deal with you. Bazioti, I hope all is well. This one you came to my house. All is well. Mm -hmm. uh, Ken, you know I have always taken you as my own. Even when your late father was alive. You have always been my person. I would not want to see a situation where our king's men will force you to go against your will. Thank God you understand me very well. Yes. Um, you will soon be with us hmm? in the next meeting to deliberate again on this very matter. And you know very well that uh, someone who speaks for another 
His mouth should be well greased. That's right. Grease squad. Does woman be in leak grease? I thought grease is meant to lubricate chains and all that. I've not heard about human being leaking grease or something. Okay. What I am saying is that you need to give me some money okay? so that I can kick against your getting married before they give you the staff of office. Pazioti, what, what are you saying? I've always told you people that anything on marriage does not come with conditions or cutting corners. Please, I cannot be part of this. I can't. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope your faith leads you. I'll see you through. Hmm? Uh, please, don't mention this to anybody. Please, Kenneth. I'll see you in the evening when I come to the meeting. Man, don't tell anybody I came to see you. I, I wish sure that a young boy is going to come. Uh, Ken is not stubborn to the level that he will not respond to our call. Okay, that's why I like him. Even though he's Mr. Here he Mimi. comes. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> oh, my elders, I am so sorry for coming late. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. We called you to tell you that. We cannot see our roof on fire and still be sleeping at the same time. We can't have fuel and generator. Still dwell in darkness. Marzi, I still don't understand what you're driving at. Uh, Ken, what is Chase saying is that you should provide some money. Let's go to see Igwe, see how we can change some things for your favor. My elders, um, I so much appreciate your efforts for me to occupy the office. But I have a particular question. This particular office, am I getting it because I merited it? Or because you people are cutting so many corners because of your personal plans? I don't, don't talk to us like that. Um, Mazioti was at my house asking for money to side me. With due respect, my elders, if we continue with this kind of life, this kingdom, I mean this great kingdom, will be left in monstrosity, which will be so bad. I will take my leave, my elders. Yo, no, no. If you be a car for your area, I'm perfect in my doings. Make a tell you, make a tell you.
And thank God you shortened my journey to your house. What is the problem? I hope it's not this marriage issue, Wahala. Stan, what's the meaning of this? Does it mean I cannot tell you things as my friend? Making you to do things you don't want to do is giving me headache. They are driving me crazy. Stan, listen to me. Mazioti came to my house, begging me for money to support what I stand for among other elders. When I got to the meeting, Mazu, they asked me to bring money for them to buy drink for the king. I am very certain, very holistic that you refuse. Of course, there is no way I can be part of that evil plan. Why would I be part of such, such evil plan? This is not a perfect world. It is not an utopian society. You need to bend. You need to come down. You need to pipe low. This is your perfectness and this is your merit does not work. People are not going to give you what you are looking for. You need to... Guy, what can you get a lot with this kind of handle? Ofro, listen, let me tell you, Stan. You see, as for that offer, if I deserve it, let them give it to me. If I do not deserve it, let them take it to wherever they will you give think, it to. You think Buhari deserve it, that is why he's there, or Donald Trump? Guy, you need to pipe low. You need to come down and understand this. But, now, Ken, eh, this is your principle of merit and eh, it's Stan, a... where are you going to? Nah, I just want to see somebody, that's all. Enter the car, let me drop you to wherever you're going. For money, when we are fighting for one cause, I was thinking that boy was going to listen to me, but he did not. Ichi, do you know I even begged him not to speak it out in public? Oti, he exposed you because he's responsible. Maybe marriage does not make somebody responsible, it's a matter of choice because your actions show that you are not responsible. Hmm? Jay. Ishe, don't insult me. Don't insult me. It's not because we are king's men. I uh, mean, you will not give me my respect. Did you think of respect when you went to collect bribe for him? Did you think of respect? Good day to disgrace all of us. In fact, good day. Uh, good day too. In fact, we'll collect that your red cap. I don't know. I, I we'll collect that your red cap. Go, 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 go in there to disgrace yourself. Jane, you don't have to live like that. They said um, every laborer deserves wages. 
Let me just give you something to you. No, I'm not going to accept it. I am not doing all this because of money. I felt you were busy doing other things, and I am at home doing nothing. Mama is just like a mother to me here, so I decided to help her. I know all that, but you still have to take it, okay? No, I'm not taking Mama, I'm already going. Uh, um, why don't you see her off, or probably go drop her? What is the problem? You are the problem. Me, how? How come of all the girls that are in this village? Who don't keep pick it to be your wife? At least three girls someone again are born. Pick one to be your wife, Umba. I am not getting any young. I'm not man my brother go. If not for this girl that comes here to help me, only God knows what where I would have been by now. Mama, I will surely get married. But that should be when the time is right. Eh. When will the time be right? Mbona? Ken, that time is now. It is still this marriage thing that has stopped you from being the spokesperson of this village. Open the lottery. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mama, no. Eh. It is not. Eh, eh. That office is not mine. You see those elders I call my kinsmen? They want to use that medium to achieve their personal plans. So the office I brought my own at all. Don't even go there. How do you mean? Hannah Chip top by his. As in, they are gradually bringing out their short legs outside. Imagine asking me to buy things for the king so that he will accept me without a wife. Trust me now, I made them understand that anything that comes on merit does not come with conditions. Eh, but at least among these three girls, we'll look enough, you know, choose one to be your wife. Oh, or you be fake and be cool. Mama, please, please, don't push me. Don't push me. Let me just do this thing on my own. No, pushing me will not work. Just wrap on me. No, this woman thing, take it to one side, just keep it to one side. Can't wait while your PI hand up in. The worst bad I can make will be near now. The big one, eh? You see, um, I don't have much time. Why I call your attention is because I want us to be good friends. So you actually have that in mind, and the other day I was in your house, you did not even notice me. You see, I've always loved you. But the problem is that I don't know how to go about it. You know, like how to tell you. 
I love you too. I love you too. What are you doing here? Say, Lucy, I invited you here for something important. I'm listening. Okay. I don't have much to say. Um, can you marry me? What? Lucy, I said, can you marry me? Your answer should be yes or no. And don't pretend as if you didn't hear me the first time. Well... The answer is yes. Just that I was surprised for you to say this because all this while you never acted as if you have feelings for me. Rather, you've been busy with Jane. Oh, please don't worry about the way I react, okay? The most important thing now is that you said yes. And that settles it. Okay? Let me get you something to drink. Okay? The way you do me for my body. Uh, How are you doing? Hmm. What name? I'm good. But Nay. So you came to our house today. I hope all is well. I could not all is not well. Hey, what is it? Our son Ken. Our son Ken have refused to get married. Even the king, as I speak with you, is waiting for him to hand over the staff of office to him. Ken is insisting on this uh, merit, merit thing. What is wrong with that boy? Nay, you can't walk on. I'm tired. So, I need to see my grandchildren. Grandchildren, what? I come afro. Oh, them now. But there's um this girl that usually comes here, and um I think my oga. He man okay no buzo oga. My oga has a plan, so still watching. You got that? Eh eh. I hope that plan works so and very fast. Amen. 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 But well, we don't have time. Amen. Uh, we'll be going to the girls' house on Sunday okay. to do some marriage rites. That's wonderful. Uh, so I am still waiting and praying. Man, I can't eat him. Ne, bele. Amen. Let this one walk. Amen. Ne, bele. He can walk for more. I will be on my way now. Mm. Uh, let this one walk. Amen. 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 Biko, Danu, oh, can you be back? Ah, thank you. Bye, Mama. Can you go look Eh, uh -huh. you decided to visit me today. I hope I'm safe. Ah, come Can you tell me that I hardly come to your house? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, be there, you don't come to my house. Do you know you got to a point that we, we, we were like cup and water pots? If the cup does not visit the water pot, water pot are not long way. <laughs> the comfortable. 
Akone. Are you feminine? Eh, you and I know that. I am a very busy person. I hardly go out. Call him Marozi. Obidia, the last time I checked, you usually rest on Sundays. Mm -hmm. What brought you to my house? Akone. Mm -hmm. I came here to tell you my intention to contest of the women leader of our town. And you know, as my friend, I need your maximum support. Chalo, go on. Eh? Wants to contest for the post of the women leader. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. And you need my support. Ona? Eh? Ona? Hey, with all my heart. Hey, oh, oh, hey. Thank you very much. Hey, you know you are my good friend. Support to hey. the I support you 101 percent. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Hey, no problem. I'll tell you what. Once it's time, tell me. I'll tell you. Tell me on time, okay? Bye bye. Can I walk out? Who be dear? Wants me. More that I could make to support her. To become the next women leader. More that support her. No, then I forbid the more from becoming women leader. I will not support you. I will compete against you. I will not support you. support you. to warn you. I noticed you are the one that make cannot to notice that I'm the most beautiful girl in this village. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You are busy following him around like a fly. Following the mother to the farm like a dog that you are. And what did he do? It shows Lucy over you. Mm. Mandy, is this why you stopped me here? This should be the first and last time you will stop me for this rubbish. You know Ken's house. Why don't you go there and try your luck? See, see, respect yourself and leave Ken alone. Leave him alone. I'm warning you. Leave him alone. And as for that Lucy, I know she will never last in that relationship. Are you done talking? Mm, I'm true. Good day. You too. Look good. shoulders like a peacock with nose pointing to the sky like a frustrated spirit. Ezo. You have succeeded in snatching my man from me, Okoya. Do you have a man? Who is your man? Hmm? Anyways, I don't have time for this your trash. Makin a coil that coil, the man again will be business. You have to the forum. The way you do me for my body. Uh, my others, I brought this little thing to pledge for your support, people. You know, I'll be going for the next women leaders election. Please. You know, you have done very well. Thank you, man. This tells me that you're indeed a wise woman who knows that her husband's brothers are in existence. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, I couldn't make it. You have my full support. Mm, thank you. But election costs money. You should talk to your son to give you some money to make it easier for you. If he will not help any other person, he should help you. You are the mother that carried him in the womb for nine months. I will tell him that. You're right, Mazugu. 
You're right. Um, let me take my leave now. Once again, thank you very much. Go well. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Right. What a nice woman. Wonderful woman. Our brother has a good wife here. Yes. <laughs> but I wonder where that boy comes from. That boy? That married boy. the compass this morning. Mm. Mama, it's just that I was so tired. So when will you finish this and we'll still have time to prepare food for Ken? When? Mama, I beg you. I think I'm feeling some pains around my tummy. Bebe? Bebe. I'm turning in chama. Feeling pains on your tummy? Mm. Hey. What about if I need to put a bag on? Biko, yum, 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 yum. Hey, Biko. Go and sit down and rest. Oh, mm. don't do anything again. Because, oh, you go. Jebe, 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 jebe. Go and rest. Oh, mm. I don't want you to do any other thing. Because, bahono je zolo miki, je zui ke biko. Go and rest. I don't want you to do anything, please. Anything you're supposed to do, I'll do it. Inano, oh. Mama, should go and rest. Hey, je la ro la biko, oh. Oh, go and rest, biko. Hey. Ona buni fa ni upo kwe mwe go now. If you want your lab, I go. Hey, can I do it? Yeah. Can I do it? She's feeling pains around her tummy. But I'm suspecting she's pregnant. Hmm? Pregnant, Squad? Yes. For who? For you. Ona am going to Mama, please, it's not me. Eh. Moreover, cooking has nothing to do with pregnancy. You said there's something you would tell me, please. Tell me what you said you tell me. I need some money. I want to become the next women leader of this town. Hmm? <laughs> Mama, mm -hmm? please be very honest with me. Who is supposed to be the next women leader? Yeah. It's all be there now. But you know it's money you can influence people. Yeah. That's why I need money. Why well, yeah, I'll join go on down. So mama, you have joined them. Join them, Dione. Join them in politics. Join them in using money and influence to cause conundrum in this society. Eh? You know me very well. Anything that comes from me to anyone must be on merit. <laughs> so I am sorry to disappoint you. I will nah, not eh. give you any money. I'm gonna go for that. Nah, eh. Ken, sometimes I don't like discussing things with you. You must make us all more boy, you both can not keep a conundrum. So, you may see if I marry it here outside, you still bring it to this house to your mother. You may go, it's in conundrum, it's in merit. What is it? Give me money, Pico. Mama, I am so sorry to disappoint you. As far as that is concerned, I don't have money for it. That means you do not merit it. You merit it here and you get the money. I don't have money for such rubbish. People are catching gum. Nay, no to a candidate. Oh, Aradite. Thank you. Jide go conundrum. Marriage. I'm not going to hear the many labor. I'm warning you. If you do not merit my money, you won't see a dime. Politics, maybe as a result. Merit it, I'll give it to you. If you be a car for your area, I'm perfect in my doings. Make I tell you, oh, make I tell you, oh, I'm a rich, I'm a rich, the way you did do me for my body, eh. Million, baby, I'm a rich, baby, oh, eh. One letter, one letter, the way you did to in my body, eh. Million, baby, I'm a rich, baby, oh, eh. I'm a rich, I'm a rich, the way you did do me for my body, eh. Million, baby, I'm a rich, baby, oh, eh. One letter, one letter. The way you me for my Baby, I need some. Hey, okay, Gant. Listen to me. You lied to my mother that you're pregnant. If you like, let me be on top of you. I cannot promise you my money. 
I am not that kind of man. You know, Anuya? For God's sake, I am your woman. I need some money to look good like other ladies. Uh-uh. Since I came to this house, you've never given me kobo. It's not fair now. Mm. I need to look good though. That you are my woman alone does not mean you merit my money. You know, Anuya? Please, don't disturb me. Let me rest. Now you're not going to give me money. You're going to give me money. Ha! You are supposed to give me money. Ha! Give me some money. Hey, Maziochi. Che, you're welcome. Thank you. How's your family doing? They are all fine. Oh, it's nice to see you. Nice to see. Akunne came here. Mm. She says she wants our support. That she wants to be the women leader of this kingdom. Ah, that is great. Ah, that means such offices will come to our kindred. Yes. Ah, she has my support. Of course. <laughs> uh, even though I did not drink from the wine that she brought. <laughs> we have already represented you. Yes. I believe our son will give us some money. You know we have to see you go with something. Exactly. Ah, we son. Ken that I know. The Mr. Merit. The one that I won't believe marrying is or made it. <laughs> Mm. Well, Good afternoon. Yeah. Come on. Thank God you're around now. Eh? Is everything alright? You and I here know that your mother and I, we've been friends since childhood. Yes, I know. We have never had any issue. Some days back, I came here to inform her about my intention to run for the position of women leader. All she could do is to go behind me to run for the same post. Is it right? Or the ma Mother. You know I don't like bad things. And you know I love justice and merit. You know how much I love it. My mother. Mother. From my investigation, she is supposed to be the next women leader. Yes, so. And after her, it's you. So why are you doing this? Why? Yeah, my mother, please. Take it easy, huh? She is going to step down for you. Okay. You know? Just calm yourself down. And mother, please, stop following these people to be accumulating conundrum in this village. Odroma, I don't like it. I'm going to slow you. It's a conundrum. Oh, Gemma, what did you conundrum? Don't go now. I'm in a very good mood today. If not, eh? Molly fingers soon. I don't have your time. I'm not even in the mood to answer you people. Conundrum. Talk to her, please. Because, Anga, you know what's It's all right, man. It's all right. The Ken I know will never try it. <laughs> he will not. Uh, well, uh, we cannot fold our hands. If there's anything we can do, I think we should be doing it until we hear from her. You're right. I don't think we need to be doing anything until we hear from her. Because it's her son that will give her the money. Okay. I agree. Let us wait and see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let, <laughs> yes. Let us wait and see. Yes. That's it. Yes. Jane, I'm so sorry. Concerning the other day, I'm sorry. Just that I needed Ken so badly. I'm so sorry. If I am angry with you, I won't be here. 
I'm but sorry. But must you make your friend your enemy before you get a man? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm sorry. Yeah. Lucy, what? Oh, my that guy is too stingy. That guy is okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Do you know that that guy cannot give anybody his gobble? You give him a kitchen up, you have a doctor, madam. What kind of person is that? That means you did not play your card, whereas a woman. A second. Mm -hmm. I am lost here. Which card are you people talking about? Are you a learner? Are you a learner? Okay. Since I did not play my card very well, hmm? you can go and try. But as for more, I will say, I'm off. I do not see Ken as a stingy guy. Yeah. Mm hmm. But anyway, let's forget about skin topic and leave it. I'm already going. Um, it's see you later. It's alright. Okay, oh my friend. Ha! Get to come out of the year. You were asking money for soap, no? You were asking money for cream, mm? You see, you keep by Surozi, I buy any money to eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can only remove some myself. Try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Akunne, hmm? this one your face is like this. I hope all is well. All is not well. All is not well at all. Biko, I have come to tell you people that I am no longer interested in this present campaign or becoming the next women leader. Hmm? Achohozim. What happened? Now you needed to have seen how my son that I carried in my womb for nine months humiliated me in the presence of Obidia. Hey. Eh? I studied. Even you, his yes. mother. <laughs> So, so that means this position will now go to another family. Ah, don't even think about it. He will not mind us at all. If anything at all, he is even going to be happy. He will be happy. Mm. This married boy. No, no, no. If you be okay for your area, I'm perfect in my doings. Make I tell you. Ken. Mother. Do you have any other mother? No. You're the only mother I have. What happened? Why did you decide to humiliate me before we here? Why? Mother, I have one question for you. If you are that woman and you merited it, another person comes and collects your rights. Will you ever in your life be happy with that person? No, just be very honest with your answers. Was that why you humiliated me? You can only need your weapon. Mother, I'm sorry about everything. I told you I'm sorry again. I don't want it. I call this emergency meeting to remind us that the time the King gave us has elapsed. We only have tomorrow as the final day. So I'm appealing to all of you to accept this humble request. Let's give him all the soft landing he needs to become the spokesperson of this great kingdom. Mm, My today has spoken well. Because if we don't, the king will give the position to another family. Yes. Definitely. And we all know what that means. That is too bad. Too bad. That we held us are accepting the demand of that small boy. Majuti. Mm. We are not doing it for him. We are doing it for his late father, our brother. So by tomorrow we'll do all of that. Meanwhile, I want to thank you for accepting the offer. Because if one person refuses, it won't hold. Thank you once again. You're welcome. Okay. Hi, I've told you to stop disturbing me. What is all this embarrassment for? Leave me alone. I'm not the only girl in this village. Mandy, I can't let you go. You're too beautiful for me to let go by. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. 
<laughs> spend the rest of your life with who? Me. I can't spend the rest of my life with someone lazy like you. Even if I'm blind and I'm desperate, I can't try that nonsense going out with someone like you. You called me a lazy boy. That's what you are. No problem. Don't come close to me, okay? Once again, I greet you all, my elders. Yeah. Hey, you're welcome. Ken, they say that when the leaf falls to the ground, the tree gets the blame. If we should allow this position to leave our kindred, the people will blame us. Even our ancestors will never be happy with us. <laughs> Based on that, that is why we decided to key into your philosophy of uh, merit. Merit. <laughs> <laughs> we have submitted your name to the cabinet. So tomorrow you go to the palace and take your oath of office. <laughs> mm. Congratulations, our son. <laughs> I believe you will uh, represent us well over there. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you so much, my elders. Thank you so much. Um, I am so happy today. You see, I promise to carry out my work effectively and basically on merit and then i promise to also use the little power in my office to flush out all those mendacious and Memphis toughest people in our community oh, you mm. <laughs> yes. and above all as an empyrean like me, mm. I must use my office to clear all the delinquents. What can I ask you Super, you may get a coupon. Once again, um, I thank you so much, my elders. Eh? God will surely bless you all. Oh, let's let's, let's toast it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you won't come up. He finally made you the spokesman of our kingdom. That is marriage, Wala. You try you. You do have a choice. What a choice. No, we do man. They have looked into it so well. And particularly see that I was telling the truth. Thank God you finally given them the right perspective so that people will follow your footsteps. People should believe in merit. People should believe in principle. People should actually know that this is the right thing and they should follow it. Of course. Of course. Uh, they are not in the community. They will take it here. You know, yeah. Ah. Ebuka is here. Ebus! Wow, wow. You guys enjoy yourself. Okay, okay. we do. We cannot come and kill ourselves. Have fun. Have fun now. I'm good. But Ebus so smart. You did well. Now, happy that we now have a married youth among the king's cabinet. I will now be speaking for youth. You know, so as we'll be submitting our budget to you and anything that come up on the house can still be reaching to us. So we believe you're not going to disappoint us. Uh, my brother, I can only speak to the youth when they merit it. Exactly. And again, that of um, sharing of community fund has come to an end as far as I'm there. Wow, it's indeed a wrong number. Anyway, congratulations once more. This is you uh, where I my leave. All right, all right, thank you. Now these people are Maromo. They don't know who they are dealing with. If for this community fund, sharing of this community fund, it's now time to use it to work in this community. Um, Ken, can spoke with you. Yeah, we will. Let me just make it very clear. Namu Gezu say, let me break it very down for you so that 
case if you are too blind to see. I understand who you are. I understand your tenants. I understand your perspective. I know you as a man that believes in merit. I know you as a man that believes in principle. But now, there is a way you take this thing. There is an aspect you go, people will begin to look at you as answers. Because they don't understand this thing you are talking about. Because every man on earth needs to be rigid. Even Christ was rigid at a point. He knew that they were coming to kill him and he disappeared. At the point, you need to pipe low, come down very low. I understand you. That is why at any given time, I tend to defend you. But on the <clears throat> So Stan, are you trying to say that my being responsible is also being rigid? And those people are not seeing it as being responsible. That's... Let's make them see it. That I'm only being responsible. I'm only trying to do the right thing for the community. Listen to me. I've been worshipping you like a king. And I've been doing every single thing for you. So why is it so difficult for you proving your love for me? Hmm? Please. Tell me how you want me to start proving my love for you. Okay. Hmm. I want you to start taking me out. Surprising me with gifts. And do other things other men do for the ladies out there. Are you serious? Of course I am. I cook for you. I wash for you. And even that of my mother's own. And you have sex with me every time, anytime you want it. So why is there for you to prove that you love me? Well, listen. Let me remind you that I never asked you to do any of those things. Your desperation to have me forced you into doing them. So please, take your choices elsewhere. Okay. Don't bother me with this, your love, choice, whatever you want. Don't even try it again. Are you listening to me? Did you hear me? Take them elsewhere. Love, love, quiet. Ken, why did you call us together? <clears throat> I know you all will be surprised seeing the strings. You all merited it. <laughs> I've come to pay homage and to say a very big thank you for believing in me. <laughs> Ken, so somebody can actually eat your money. <laughs> <laughs> I am surprised though. My elders, you don't need to be surprised. You should understand the principle in which Ken is being built upon. There is no way you can take anything without having it on merit. <laughs> that merit is very important. <laughs> very important. <laughs> That's why they call him Mr. Merit now. <laughs> but your father was not like this. Mazi, that was my father. And um, I am a very grown up man now. A very responsible one at that. Just proving a point to you all. A man can actually be responsible without a wife. That is very true, my son. <laughs> you have spoken very well. Well, no. Uh, 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 please, get up and share the <laughs> Mama, Alan. I didn't know you were back. Ah, yeah, bo. Came in not quite long ago. Have you eaten? Mm -hmm. I made sure he did that, Mama. He has eaten enough. It's okay. Yes, so, Mama. I am so full. That's good. Um, Mandy. Yeah, baby. I have something to show you. Really? How is that? Will you marry me? I don't 
don't get you. Ken, will you stand like this, proposing to me Monday? Seriously, is this how you want me to get married to you, standing and proposing to me? How, how do you want me to do it? You have to kneel down and propose to me, do the right thing. I should kneel down and propose to you. Ha. Mandy, that is a sign of worship. If I kneel down to propose to you, it means that I, I am entitled to be worshipping you for the rest of my life. Wait, so. Wait. You can't even take me out. You can't even give me surprise gifts. You can't even flex me. You can't do anything proper for me. I want to marry you like this. Ah. I'm not in this kind of marriage. Mama, have you seen what I told you about this woman? They are nothing but being egoistic. How can she expect me to kneel down to, to worship her before I can propose to her? I'm tired. Seriously. JD. Eh? I know you have tested the bitter pills he has to offer. And that is why your face is looking like a monkey. Try it. Lucy. Lucy. Don't just insult me. Don't let me pour my anger on you. Come on, teacher. Sure. Pour which anger on who? You are just raging like a frustrated vulture. What do you even think you can do to someone like Moabu Lucy? Can you hear me? Man snatcher. Oh God. No, go and stay now. I did not play my card very well. I did not play my role very You that have played your card very well, how far? I stayed more than two weeks in order to one day. I oh, know. Is that least at me. I mean, these two girls that came here, none of them could stay. Can even so busy? Mama, it is their choice. At least you saw what happened the other day with Mandy. Any woman who wants a man to marry her and keep her in his house will not expect the man to be worshipping her. What do you mean worshipping her? There are two ways you can get a woman. Some wants attention. Some women want gifts. Mama, that is the part I don't like. Eh. Any woman who wants a potential man must adapt to the man's will. That is what the Bible says. Women, submit yourself under your man. But the ladies of nowadays will not do that. They will always want their man to be worshipping them. Oh? Think about this, Inugo. My brothers, now that our son has become the spokesperson of this kingdom, we stand a better chance of getting more money from the king. <laughs> yes. You are talking as if you don't know who our son, Ken, is. There is no way he will not comply if all of us talk to him. <laughs> what? 
uh, there's no harm to give it a try. But uh, based on his past record of merit, I, I would have suggested we forget about it. No, I will send for him to join us in our next meeting. Ah. Madam, welcome. Jen, where have you been all this while? I have been around though, just that I kept my distance because of Lucy and Mandy. I don't need their troubles. Jane, would have been coming to see me like you were doing. Mama, don't worry. Eh? I am here now. I'm here to help you with your little choice. Since none of them are around. Mm. Mm. No. Good uh -huh. Anyway, uh, um, it's fine that you came, eh? Please go inside and start preparing food. My man, I have missed your meal so much. So, what the road? Again, try and change. Again, I need. All right. Man. No. Uh, you can do it fast. Again, nobody's giving you food. <laughs> Mm. This food is so sweet. <laughs> this is where you will know the difference between women and girls. <laughs> Ken, what do you mean? You will not understand. No one is trying to tell you. He is enjoying your meal. He doesn't know how to say it, Donya. How are you? You are enjoying it? Can <laughs> 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 okay. can your father ask you for a favor and you say no? It depends on the favor my father asked of me. Mm, Ken, what we are saying is that we want you to be our seat of spokesman anytime government brings community development fund. Of course, I will stand firm for us. I will not allow anyone to take what belongs to you people. Mm, Ken, it's not that type we are saying. What we are saying is that any money that comes to that palace that we, your family members, should get the bigger share. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Wait. Is it money meant for community development or money meant for council of chiefs? Kenny, money is money. Any money at all. Bring it. Yes. With all due respect, my elders, I am a responsible man. I can't do such thing. I cannot involve myself in such evil doing. I must represent my community. That is the more reason we accepted you to resume office before getting married. <laughs> it is not too late. I can still resign for you people to put your puppet for him to do your biddings for you. As far as I'm there, there is no sharing of public funds. Yo, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. If you be your car for your area, I'm perfect in my doings. You know the money Make I tell you. Oh. What is this threat of doing with you? Lucy, calm down. The both of you misbehaved. We Africans, especially the Igbos, have a way of life. We don't just go to men, we wait for them to come to us. The reason he treated the both of you the way he did was because you guys appeared cheap before him. Hey, Sigim. You shouldn't men appear before him cheap. Listen, if you're planning on how to go and try, you better don't just stress yourself because that guy will not value you no matter how you try to please him. Inanu, he will never value you. I mean, he is too impossible to be pleased. And babes, 
That guy Han is too strong. He's too stingy. My good friends, I don't know how you people see Ken. But Ken is the best man every woman will want to be with. He says, eh. It's alright. Don't say Mwabulisi did not warn you. Epu si go kwam. I've told you. If I'm from Ebu. Ken. Ken. Hmm? Mama. Don't tell me Jane is still not good. Mama, please. Allow me to think very well. If she's okay for me, you will know. Eh. Yeah. It's only that she's the only person who spends a long time with you. I know. But please uh, allow me to do my thing. I should allow you to do your thing. Ken, time is running out. I want to see my grandchildren. Pico. I need to see my grandchildren. We see it now. No more sharing of funds. Eh? Had we known, we shouldn't have given this position to Ken. This is unbelievable. That he turned down what he will fully benefit from. Can you imagine? But the only thing is that we have to enjoy it. Because it's our brother's son. Trying to remove him from that office will not be good for any of us. And moreover, if we submit any petition for his removal now, you know, Your Highness, the Igwe will begin to ask questions. Mm. Right. Mm. right. So let us enjoy it. Even in the grave, our brother will not be happy. He will mm. not be. Mm. How can he be? But let's take it in good faith. Hmm? Let's take it in good faith. Mm. See, Jane, you're a very nice lady. You understand me so well, just like God understands the woman. So because of that, I want to ask you for one thing. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. Oh my God! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, Mama. Eh? <laughs> 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 Ada? Mama? Is it true? Ah, congratulations! Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> oh, no! Congratulations! Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Ah! Mama, fine. The way you do me for my body.
swear. Eh? Hey! I agree with you, my friend. Jane is the cheapest girl I've ever seen in this village. I'm telling you. Why would she even accept a man's proposal? Why standing? Her action shows that she's so desperate to get married. What is wrong with that girl? Kai, listen, I'm telling you, eh? Kneeling down to propose to a woman shows some respect and Abby. love. <laughs> and any man that is not willing to do so to Numa Bolusi, mm. that person will never marry me. Yes, he will not. And you know, I remember vividly that that stupid kind of a guy tried that rubbish with you, mm. but you turned him down. Of course. So why is that all different? I don't know. Eh? Desperation everywhere. Everywhere, my friend. Anyway, let's continue our journey. Let's go. Mm -hmm. They look at me in disdain. Left me to squat and he said, hmm. There is more to that than the ordinary eyes can see. Are they up to something mischievous? Mm -mm. No, I don't think so. But why this candidious laugh? Alright, I will comfort them to find out why they laughed at me in that manner. Great news. Ah, I wish he's here for him to receive a formal congratulations from me. I pray this one stays. Ah, how do you mean? Two girls came to this house and left. My prayer is that this one won't live like the rest. Mm. Hey, you have a role to play to make sure this one stays. How? Uh, what to do here? Eh? You are his mother and he listens to you. Why are you blocking my way? I will do something terrible to you now. If you don't tell me why you and Mandy laughed at me. Come on, shut up. Shut up, okay? Listen, for the records, when you get me, you cannot do anything. Mm. Yes, okay. <laughs> and if you want to know why Mandy and I we are laughing at you, I will gladly. You tell better you. start talking. Start talking. Ah. I mean, I just don't know what to tell you. You're too cheap. 
Do you know that you are the cheapest girl I have ever seen my entire life? What are you talking about? Lady Cat Cheap. Yes. Why would you even descend so low? Chai! I don't know what you're talking about, mm. but the earlier you start giving meanings to your words, the better for you. Okay. Chai. If you like, pretend from now to the next generation. No one listen. I don't care. But let me tell you something. You are a full disgrace to womanhood. You know? You were a total disgrace. You know, go. She refers to me as a disgrace to womanhood. So it's not confirmed that Lucy and Mandy were discussing something bad about me. It's alright. I will see to that. I greet you. Thank you. I was just heading to your house now. I hope all is well. All is well. Okay, let's all go back. Well. No, 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 no need. No need. Eh. Ah, we can have our discussion here. Uh, yeah, yes. Ah, we're just coming from Ken's house. And Ken's mother reliably informed me that Ken has proposed to Jen. And Jen has accepted to marry him. That is wonderful news. Good news. Good news. Finally, he's getting married. <laughs> you both of us will kill ourselves here if you don't tell me what the discussion was all about. Jane, you cannot do anything. I'll give it to you back to back if you try any nonsense with me. Mandy, you are daring me. You are daring me. You better start talking because you will not like what I'll do to you. Ta! Cheap girl like you. You cannot do anything to me in any way. Me? Cheap girl? Yeah, that is what you, you called mean. me a cheap girl. Mandy! Of course, that is what you are. If not, why will you accept a man's proposal while standing? Oh, I see. It's all about Kent's proposal to me. That is why the both of you are killing yourselves. Because he left you people for me. Eh? Okoya? There you go to particle like mm. you. Kent proposed to Lucy while standing. And she turned down the proposal because he never knelt down to propose to oh, her. Yeah. Come, let me tell you and let me educate you on this. Any man that will not propose to a lady while kneeling down, he's not a man. He will never treat you well anyway, okay? Chew my words and do the next thing. That's what I have for you to say. And if that happens, he marries her, we will use it to our own advantage. That is if we play our card well. Richard, you are confusing me. What are you talking about? I am saying that we will make sure Ken marries Jen. Then we will use her to make Ken do our bidding. You mean we can actually use the girl to make Ken siphon money in our favor? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know that every good woman has the key to her husband's heart. You made a very important point. Mm -hmm. Good woman. Mm -hmm. Is Jen going to be a good wife to Ken? That's the point. Eh? Ken's mother told me that the girl is a good girl. Really? Mm -hmm. Then we are good to go. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We will play into the girl's life and we will make her to get to know us and then trust us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how to play that politics now. <laughs> that is not the problem. <laughs>
What, what is it, Jane? You don't look good. What's the problem? Ken, you must do this the proper way if you ever want me to be your wife. What do you mean? This is what I mean. If you want me to be your wife, you need to go down on your knees and propose to me. Is it? A man should kneel down for you just because he wants to propose to you. Do you know what it means? Meaning a man has submitted himself to you. You can't. You will keep boy. Eh? Stan, please stay off this matter. Please. Uh, no, 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 no. I want to correct an impression. Let us understand this very properly. What do you mean by a man should kneel down for you and propose to you? Ken, oh yeah. Jen, you know I cannot do that. Mmm. Yes. You cannot do it. Do then you're not ready to have me as your wife. Anytime you're ready to kneel down and propose to me, then we can start from where we stop. But look what we're in You see it? Ignorance is a sickness. Hi. <laughs> they come. Ken, where are you going to? I'm coming. What is your problem? Jen, what exactly do you think you are doing? I think I'm doing the right thing. Yes, I am doing the right thing. Hold on. What do you mean by the right thing? Can you define the right thing? Can you just possibly tell me the right thing? Just hold on before you, before you open your eyes so wide for me. Just hold on. I am advising you to step back. Retract your step before it is too late. Just try. If Ken said he loves me, he must kneel down and propose to me. You have, you have not gotten my attention. Just hold on. You want a man to kneel down for you? Yes. And that what it means to say proposal. Mm -hmm. I know Okoke, Okafo, I know Matthew, I know Jero, I know Grant, I know IK, I know Amani. They all knelt down for you in terms of pro Hold on, let me finish my language. It's a very beautiful one. They knelt down for you in proposal. At the end of the what happened? It didn't work. Now, a very sweet, beautiful man, call it anything you want to call it, mm. came to you and stood up and said, babe, can you be my wife? And you say you're not going to answer that matter because he's standing up. Don't you think you have a problem? Stan, if Ken cannot kneel down and propose to me, I am not ready for the marriage. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me make it very clear, clear to you. It is not even in our culture. It is not even in our culture as an Igbo man, even in Africa here. For a man to kneel down for a woman, let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you the implication of this. When a man kneel down for the woman, it means you have totally submit everything you have for the woman. That means you'll be answering boy boy. It is the prerogative of a woman to kneel down for a man and say, "Will you even marry?" It is it's getting yeah, out of hand. Yeah, we should yeah, correct yeah, this yeah. norm. Stan, I am not ready for this your talks. If Ken cannot kneel down and propose to me, I am not my I'm out of here. Look what on you. You are not going to marry. Show me, show me, show me. I am really shocked. Why are you shocked? Because I hissed at you and you stopped. It is practically impossible that you hiss at women and they will stop. In, in fact, 90% of women cannot stop. <laughs> I guess. But well, probably you hissed at me because you needed direction to where you're going. Yeah? So, how can I help you? You are a very beautiful woman. Mm, thank you. Can I take you somewhere? Can we sit down and drink? 
Bye. I was lively informed by an insider that the government have released money to the world for developmental projects. Ah, yes. That is great news. Though. That means our roads will be repaired this time around. Mm -hmm. Yes. But not only that, we can also feed fat from that money. What are you talking about? Our son Ken will be in charge of the project money. We can talk to him to share some part of it to us. <laughs> it's you. It just sounded as if you don't know who Ken is. It is easier for the biggest camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for Ken to do what you just said now. You are right. You know, I am beginning to think that we made the wrong choice. Yes. Allowing Ken to take that exalted position. I, I, and I think that um, we should, as soon as possible, make sure that Ken gets married. Yes. What has marriage got to do with what we are discussing? A lot too. But if marriage will help, then I think uh, Jen will make a good wife to him. Yes. There's a problem somewhere. His mother told me reliably that Ken cannot keep a lady. He can't keep one woman. Ken cannot tolerate them. That's a big problem. If that is the case then, we'll make sure that we'll have Jen stick very close to him, no matter how he treats her, until she eventually becomes his wife. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. She has to be patient mm -hmm. and tolerate him. Tolerance. I think that's the only way he can marry her. Tolerance. So, uh, who amongst us will speak to Jen? That one is not a problem. Leave it up to me. I'll talk to her. Please do it as fast as you know what will happen. <laughs> First thing tomorrow morning, I'll talk to her. Okay, the good. matter at hand is a very urgent one, and we cannot treat it with levity. Yeah, exactly. Yes. 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 It is all about your relationship with Ken. I want you to cherish it. I want you to hold on to Ken very tight because he has a bright future. I see him rise to a very high level politically. Why are you telling me all this? You see, Ken can be very annoying most of the times. That doesn't mean he doesn't love you. Just make sure you tolerate him and with time, you'll come to find out that he's a wonderful person you can spend the rest of your life with. Now I understand what you're talking about. Thank you so much, Ichi. You're welcome. You know I want the best for you. Just do as I have said. And you stand the chance of enjoying his world. Words of wisdom. But coming at the wrong time. Why now that I have ended everything that I have with him, what do I do now? What do I do? Thank you so much, Ichi. I think I should be going. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Mama. Mama, there is no food in the house. Why? Mm -hmm. But there are food stores in the kitchen. All you have to do is to go to the kitchen, prepare any kind of meal you want to eat, and you eat. So when did that one start? I mean, when did I start cooking? Ken, it started the day you refused to pick one of those girls as your wife. Mama, I thought you settled that issue. But what is it now? Eh. Yeah. The only way we can settle it is for you to pick one girl. Ufwanya. Make her your wife. If you're hungry, she goes to the kitchen to prepare meals for you. So, 
So, Mama, you mean I should go to bed on an empty stomach? Mama, please, I'm hungry. Come and look for something that I'll eat, please. I'm gonna go. Mama. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, my name is Ken. Okay, my name is Helen. Wow, you're so cute with a beautiful name. Please, do you mind if I take you to wherever you're going? Oh, thank you for offering. But not to worry, I'm almost at my destination. <laughs> See. Wait, wait, wait. Please, I don't know if I can be able to see you some other time. Um, okay. Great. So please, can I have your digits? All right, um, zero eight zero. Mm. What you did wasn't too okay. Why would you return his engagement ring back to him, Makagene? Mama, I'm sorry, but I'm here to make amends. Anyway, you need to go and come back. Ken is not in the house. Yeah. Eh? Mama, I, I will do that. Oh, please, I want you to help me talk to Ken. Tell him that I love him so much. And I'm willing to accept his proposal, even though it means him standing on the air. Mama, I'm because so, Badro, as soon as he comes back, I'll tell him. Somebody proposed to you, gave you an engagement ring. Whether he knelt down or he stood up or he was hanging in the air or he, he, he lied down, I mean, you would have just collected it. If you are rejecting the one that is coming to you, in love. Mama, I'm sorry. You didn't do it well. Though. Mama, I'm sorry. Better, yeah. All because he didn't kneel. What is that? Is it not the ring you want? Whether he will lie down or, 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 or gesticulate or anything. Collect the ring and Anna Gaga. Please, Mama. Oh, Mama, please, just help me talk to him. I still love Ken. Mama, because... So bad, bro. So bad, bro. I will talk to him. Oh? Thank you so much, Mama. It's because we are close, though. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day, Mama. I'm fine. It's like you're going out. Yes, I'm going for a mission. No. Mama, did you help me talk to Ken on my behalf? I did. As usual, proved stubborn. You want to hear Ken? So, where is he now? I'm not on He went out. Can I, can I wait? Can I stay and wait for him oh. to come back? No, oh, why not? You see, now that I've found you, I will search no more. How do you mean? Just give me some seconds, okay? What are you looking for? The engagement ring. Uh -uh. So soon. You know me now, I don't have time for merriment. Once she accepts to marry me, by the end of next month, I'll make her my wife. Just like Ichie Ude said, I can tolerate anything from him, 
until he marries me. Once I become his wife, certainly things will take a different turn and I will enjoy all his wealth. Make sure you need that wife proposing to her. Eh? Make sure you need that. <sighs> Will you marry me? My God. <laughs> yes, yes, I will marry you. Happen. Are you blind? <laughs> Stand to propose to a city girl is, is not possible. Is that the congratulation you should tell me? <laughs> Forgive my manners. I, I was I was just carried away. <laughs> anyway, to answer your question, it is not in the custom and tradition of our people to do so. And it is also not in the constitution of our great nation. Yes. And um, in my opinion, the act of kneeling down to propose is a scam. <laughs> how, do you, how do you mean by a scam? Uh, on a serious note, does kneeling down to propose to a woman stop a man from cheating on her? Every man is naturally a cheat. Of course. You just answered the question. Maybe I should tell you a little story about me and from there you can deduce as to why I didn't complain or get angry when your friends proposed to me while standing. I'm not yes. I am from a comfortable home and twice I fell victim of men who knelt down to propose to me. I met Chooks. We fell in love. Ah, he was so good to me. To show the extent of the love he had for me, he bought me a car. And then before his friends and family, I mean everyone, he knelt down and proposed to me. I was excited. I was happy. I felt this was the beginning of a good relationship that would eventually lead to marriage. And then he disappointed me. Mm. He broke my heart. He ran away with the car he bought for me and my two million naira. I was heartbroken. But as time goes on, I healed and I moved on. Then I met, I met Daniel. He was loving. I thought, okay, he will be different from the other person. And then one day he took me to shop right. And in the full glare of everybody, he knelt down and proposed to me. Who mm -hmm. wouldn't accept such marriage? I felt this is it. But he also broke my heart and dumped me. So you see, kneeling down to propose to a woman does not move me. It does not show that the man will love and cherish her for the rest of her life. I love men who don't pretend about anything. I love men who are sincere, just like your friend here. <laughs> so, I see no reason why I should say no to him. And once again, yes, I will marry you. <laughs> Do you know I was even very skeptical about the whole issue? We, we, we said something inside and that was exactly it. Oh my God, I, I, I don't even... Was that what you were doing? You, you know, you kind of, we're trying to... So that the woman... <laughs> like, you know, you won't make the second... I this kind of... Yeah, I don't want you to repeat it. <laughs> See, she is the kind of woman I've been looking for. A woman who is not moved by fantasy. A woman who faces reality of life as it unfolds. <laughs> I, are you from this planet? <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> I, 
I, are you from this planet? Yeah, she is. <laughs> do, you know, do you know the first time I met her? Uh, when I hissed at her, she, 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 she said, what, what can I do for you? I, I was thinking she's going to slap me. That was when I had no. and I knew that this person is something else. I've got yeah. home training. I've got yeah, home training. Yeah. 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 The way you do me for my body. Helen, a woman who believes in my values, a woman who believes that culture and tradition should be recognized. Mm. Oh, yeah, be fine. Ken, she's so beautiful. <laughs> but um, I hope what he said about you is true. Yes, ma'am. I know my son, Mamma Nob. Rapiaka, what brother wants to say? If I don't want to go, I'm going to be a son. Yeah? Eh? I'm going to say, i Go back and make. Give me photo. Oh, 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 Mm. Mm. Ken is sleeping. Okay. Go and tell him the community elders are here to see him. Uh, I, I just told you he is sleeping. Why don't you go and come back? Uh, my daughter, Ken is our son. Mm -hmm. Even if we disturb him, he will not be angry. Go and tell him that the elders of his family want to see him. <laughs> well, he had a long and busy day. He should be allowed to rest, please. Mm -hmm. Ken, thank God you are here. Today, how are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon, sir. I sorry to bother you, but your my wife, wife, qua? Yes, I. I was planning to come and see you. Yes, because I am actually planning for my traditional marriage, ah. which is coming up by the end of the month. <laughs> okay, this is a wonderful news. <laughs> it's nice to hear this from you. <laughs> okay, now uh, we are here to... Um, Ken, your wife-to-be is not supposed to be in this meeting with us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I want her to stay for a reason. Yes. And uh, knowing the kind of person that you are, uh, we want her to see things our way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because uh, a good wife is the key to her husband's heart. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing her here today, <laughs> I know she will make us proud. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much, my elders. <laughs> 
So what have you come to tell me? We are reliably informed that the money for community development project has been handed over to you. Yes, I have it. And I will start work soon. Good, good. Uh, that is why we are here. Eh? Uh, as the community held us, and as the people that sent you to represent us, we came to get our share. Of course. Mm? And what we are saying is that we know that the lion's share will belong to you. But let us get ours. Yes, he's right. You are going to have the lion's mm -hmm. share. I cannot do that. I can't. Don't say that, my son. Mm -hmm. Other people are doing it. Eh? Use half of the money for the community project. Let the other half come to all of mm -hmm. us. Eh? Uh, our wife to be. This is the reason I wanted you in this meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk to your husband. Mm? Thank you so much, my elders, for seeking my opinion on this matter. I am honored. The money in question is for the community, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is for the development of the community. Mm -hmm. So why do you want to share it amongst yourselves? Even if money should be given to any of you, it has to be on merit. I mean, if other people have been doing this, it doesn't make it right. Eh? You asked him to represent you because he merited it. So if money should be given to any of you, you need to work hard for it or merit it. My elders, I stand with my man to say that the money should be used for community projects. Thank you. Excuse me, my body. Body, baby. Oh, my 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 ba